What's going on, Herman Nation? It's Sunday, April 25th, and this is your Sunday Weekly Update. Now, this weekly update, I want to get a little bit more personal with you guys. Um, don't have too much stuff to cover, I and mean, we had a great week this week. I can't tell you guys how excited I am and how proud it makes me to see all the interactions on the Scott Herman Fitness fan page on Facebook, which I don't like to call it a fan page anymore. I call it a community page, because that's what we've done. We've built a community of people who are trying to help each other, you know, there's not a lot of negativity on there, and as soon as someone tries to post something that's negative, it gets taken right off, because that's not what we're about. We're about people reaching their goals, and being safe while doing it, and we want you to feel comfortable asking questions. So, I'm really proud of you guys, and it, the page grows by like 100, 200 people a day, so, you know, keep telling your friends, keep telling about Scott Herman Fitness. I mean, if each and every one of you who watches this video just emails, you know, 10 friends, 20 friends, 50 friends, one friend, you know. It's just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And the more it grows, the more stuff that I can get for you guys. Okay, I have a lot of great ideas for Scott Herman Fitness. And none of this has been possible without the support of you and everyone else that you guys have brought to the community page. So thank you. Now, for those of you who saw my video, I posted it right here of me getting attacked by a dog earlier this week. Um... My mom fixed my shorts for me, so I'll show it to you guys. Pick that out. Crazy, right? I can't believe that this dog got me right there. But, fix the shorts. Now, to get a little, a little personal with you guys, had a couple things that I was really counting on. You know, I want you guys to know, just because like you see things going good on the page, I'm not the kind of person who likes to post when things aren't going my way, you know? And I was having a really bad day that day. I had a couple of things that just really irritated me. So I decided that I would go for a run to try and, you know, release some energy. Usually I go to the gym or if I need to release and kind of like settle down and clear my mind, I'll go for a run. So I literally like went out my door, went two feet down the street, and I got attacked by a dog. Okay. Now this dog looked like Lassie, the most tame, probably like 12, 13 year old dog. And as soon as it attacked me, I tucked and rolled, I got up, I sat down, and it was looking at me like it didn't mean to do it. And the, the owner was like freaked out. The owner had the dog on a leash. And the owner was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm like, you know what? Don't worry about it. I just walked home, took a shower, and I relaxed for a little while. But the moral is, you know, dogs, dogs can sense energy. If you're a dog owner, your dog knows when you're excited. Your dog knows when you're sad. Your, your, your dog knows. And I was coming from behind, and I was so angry that I think the dog sensed it and just was protecting the owner. You know, I didn't press charges or anything like that. I'm not a douchebag. I would never do that. I know it was my own fault. But when the dog got, when the dog latched on to me, you know, it made me have to kind of rethink my steps. You know, things happen in this world for a reason. And even though I really wanted something else to happen, the fact that it didn't. When I woke up the next day, I kind of reset my mind. Started thinking positive. Got three more opportunities that are way better than the original thing I wanted to have happen. I got a couple phone calls, and it was really good. And the point I'm trying to make is, the universe works in strange ways. And you know, the universe always knows what's best for you. And if you spend your time just, like, getting stuck on something bad that happens to you, you're never going to move forward, okay? So if I can give you guys any advice, you know, whether it's fitness or goal setting... You need to just take things as they come and always think always think something better is going to happen. Because it will and it always does. And I actually, that night, I redid my goal board. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, you guys used to see stuff on my goal board. I raised everything and I changed my goals. I'm going to show it to you guys. Dun, dun, dun. Captain America. All right. So I changed my goal board up. Goals I will accomplish in 2010. And by the way, that's me in the green, my brother in the blue. And that's the original SHF um, drawing that my cameraman Cliff did. And that's where the symbol came from. But continue to grow the SHF community on YouTube and on SHF.com. And remember that my success comes from my will to never stop helping others. Two, never forget who I am and the people who have helped me succeed. Three, become the number one subscribe channel on YouTube and never stop teaching fitness to the world. And if you saw my goals before, these ones aren't drastically different, but these goals are more important because it's this as Scott Herman Fitness has become bigger than Scott Herman. Scott Herman Fitness has got to the stage where it's about people helping each other. 
and I just happened to have been the orchestrator to get started. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to do some things for you guys. I had an idea for my own TV show called Beat Me Down, which I'm going to do on the YouTube channel. I filmed the first episode. I like it. I'm going to make it the pilot because I want to change some things. But I want you guys to see the concept. I want you guys to tell me what you think because I think the Beat Me Down stuff is going to be great because I'm already demonstrating for you guys full workouts. I'm demonstrating for you individual exercises. I think you guys might get more out of me getting my butt kicked doing a workout so you can see how effective it is. Okay, so I'm actually going to post that later on today. And I'm going to let it run for the week. And I want you guys to comment in the comment section on the video. And actually, no. You can comment there, but I'd rather you guys post on the Facebook fan page, on the Facebook community page, because it's easier for me to see it there. So I'm going to post that video later on today. Um, I want to thank all you guys who've been on the, the community page, helping each other out, cutting and pasting videos. Uh, I did a lot of work on scotthermanfitness.com today, which is the actual website where I've been organizing all the videos. So you guys can just kind of, you know, click and find the things that you need. So make sure you check that out, that out as well. And I'm going to post this video, go for a run, come home, and then I'm going to post Beat Me Down, the pilot. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I'm blessed to have all of you guys. And remember, you know, take it from me. If things aren't going your way one week or if things aren't going your way one day, just collect your thoughts and know that good things are going to happen. Because you know what? If you're a good person, good things always happen. So this is your Sunday weekly update. And it's always been a pleasure to, to talk to you guys and see you guys. And I will talk to you soon. My dogs are asleep on my bed. I'll show you real quick. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you guys later.